Mac Kids 101 here today. <clears throat> I'm going to be giving you OS 9, a guided tour. For those of you who don't care about old computers, you can uh, stop watching this video because I guarantee you, you'll be very disappointed at what you see in this video about my eight year old computer that is an iMac from eight years ago with OS 9 running. So um, let's get started. I will do this cool fade effect and then you will start watching. Okay, so right here is um, my OS 9 desktop. Now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you what it looks like when the OS 9 machine boots. So I'm going to shut down the computer and then go from there. So Wait one second while OS 9 shuts down. Right now we're going to be reviewing the boot process of OS 9. So I'm going to click the little stupid power button right there. Do the bong like you do when you're normally turning on your Mac. And um, then you'll see gray screen. And after a little while you'll see a little Mac with a smiley face on the screen right there right there and then it will say Mac OS 9 say welcome to Mac OS 9 and you're gonna see the loading thing it says starting up if your computers um, shut down if your OS 9 box is shut down unexpectedly it'll go through a routine check of drives which takes a few minutes at the most um, Here's the loading bar. It's going to take a little bit to load, so I'll just do a little cut here until it's almost done. Okay, so it's done loading. Window immediately goes away. Here's my OS 9 desktop. It's pretty fast. Like, there's no login window or anything unless you set up a user account, and that's very insecure, so I would not suggest doing that. Um, the preferences thing, the main preferences thing, just when you have Finder and you go up to the edit menu, bar at the top is very similar. You go up to the edit menu and click preferences. All you can set are labels, views, and that shows whether you view list or buttons or general. And you can use simple Finder. That's actually an option right there that you can set in parental controls on the current Mac. Some of you might have more experience with this parental controls thing than others um it's a very evil thing um uh, so right here you can just close this actually I want to go over the windowing system with you a window has the close button in the top left it's just a square maximize button um on or um, a minimize button on the far right and a maximize button right next to the minimize button. Minimize button, just click it and it'll turn your window. Let me just undo this. It'll turn your window into just the menu bar of the window and then you can move the menu bar around to the bottom of your screen because this is supposed to simulate your desk. It's called its desktop. So you can just, that's actually called collapse. Then you can close this. Mouse is very similar. And of course, the desktop experience is similar. All your drives or anything are on your desktop right here. I have Macintosh HD. It's blinking. No, it's blinking right there. I can just open that up. Now bring up a Finder window. Yep. Finder. It's still here. Um. So this is everything in my home folder with keychain access. You only you have a file for a keychain. Mine is called Alex, and you can put it wherever the hell you want. So uh, there's uh, in their desktop or applications or documents. It's actually called desktop folder, um, system folder. Wow, they call it that. You open it up. It has like Finder in it. System preferences right there. So everything. Everything is here. Finders there. Login is there. Panels is there. System is there. Parental controls is there. Oh no, 
better delete that. Um, and then to find things, you want to open Sherlock. It's a little search application. A search for stuff. You can close this right here. So on the desktop, control click. All the Apple keystrokes work the same. Apple Q, Apple W. You know, control click to right click. You can create a new folder on my desktop. I'll just call it examples. Okay. And then on your desktop, you can drag anything on there. And Apple delete still delete something. And control click on your trash bin and click empty trash. Nothing is in the dock anymore. Or right now. Dock. Okay. The dock is for functions that will never change. The dock can be there and it can go to hell. Right now, the dock is here. File sharing options, brightness options, you know, energy saving options, CD options, printer options, color options, volume, um, keychain access one. Oh no, I'm not going to unlock that because I don't want you to see all my passwords. Um, here's something cool. Say we create a new document and there's no Safari or anything on this. It's all Microsoft products. So I'm going to open Word. I'm just going to click OK. Office 2001 is running on this computer. So I have Microsoft Office 2001 on this. It's actually pretty decent. Some of you might use something like this. Um, so, menu bar is being dumb. Okay, so I would like to save this document on my desktop. I'll just call it crap. And now, I will quit everything. So now, crap is on my desktop. Um, I'll just drag it into examples for you. And open up examples in a new finder window. Now, say I don't want anyone reading this. I can't imagine why not, because it's just BS. But I click it, I go up to File, or I can Control-click it and click Encrypt. And then I type a password to encrypt it by. I'll just make it Password. Password. And then you can add the file, or add the password to your keychain or not. Normally, I uncheck that, because I don't like my password being stored in plain text on the computer. I can just click encrypt. And now you might not be able to see it, but there's a little lock right next to my little encrypted file here. That means that it's encrypted. When I open it, it'll ask me for the password to decrypt. So I made it password. Click decrypt. And now it opens up. So that's a way to securely password protect your files. So I'm just going to drag this to the trash. You know, the disadvantage of this is you can't decrypt a folder or encrypt a folder. So I have a bunch of documents, 300 documents to be exact, 26-digit long password. You have to type the password twice, check a box, and hit OK for each file. So it took me about five hours to encrypt all my files. Because you can encrypt a you can't encrypt a folder. No encrypt. No way to encrypt a folder. It's evil. Evil. This is the worst feature ever to be realized on the Mac. But on OS ten, can't encrypt anymore. Nope. Just gonna hide my dock now. Now I'm just gonna show you Microsoft Internet Explorer. There's no flash player for this. Because it is eight years old, before Flash was around. Um, but JavaScript sites work. Google works. Let's go to YouTube and look at how funny it looks. First of all, it's taking forever to load YouTube. Look at YouTube. Doesn't look like YouTube. There's no search button. That's because the search button is right here. It's very small. It has no text in it. It's right there. I can search. Hit enter. Look how cool my search results are. See what happens wrong on this. Okay. 
So you can see a bunch of things are overlapping here. Some things are duplicating themselves. It's just awful. This is not cool. This is a boo-boo. There's no flash play. Oh, another thing is up here, top right-hand corner, there's a drop-down menu with all the windows you have open. You can switch to one of those. And you can resize the thing that shows them. You can hide Internet Explorer, hide others, or hide Finder, hide others. No, you can do whatever you want. And in my favorite function, shutting down the map with the special. You can empty your trash, sleep, restart, shut down. So I'll just go up to special and click shut down. So uh, yeah, goodbye. Life is short.